Ultra is a brand known for their wide toe box and zero drop design. And for the Escalante 3, it's not obsession. Let's dive in and see what this shoe has to offer. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Kevin. Today we're going to have my first impression review on this Ultra Escalante 3. Before we start, disclaimer, this shoes is given by Key Power Sport Malaysia as a gift for the purpose of review. All the thoughts are based on my own opinion. No one pay me or give me any money to do this review. And no one have a chance to view this video before you guys can view it on YouTube. Ultra is a zero drop shoes and it's quite comfortable for the runners that are looking for a natural running shoes, this is a perfect shoes for you. This is my first time running in a zero drop shoes. In this video, I'm going to break down into spec, features, pro, con for you to decide whether this is a suitable shoes for you so that you can move around in the timeline below. Let's start with the specification of the shoes. For the stack height is 24mm at the heel and the forefoot make the shoes zero drop just like this there's no carbon fiber plate at the shoes for my size us 11 the shoes will at 310 gram it's a bit heavy side for the shoes that this thin at the upper here it has a knee upper breathable and stretchable for the form it using the Atta signature form eagle form across the midsole at the bottom you can see the amount of rubber built for durable and traction let's start with the knee upper so the knee upper are quite breathable and stretchable so you can see over here it's a seamless design all the way up to the back of the shoes the lace of the shoes are not too long not too short just right amount of lace at the tongue right here they just right amount of pad around the tongue same as the heel collar, the amount of padding at here. So below at the heel here, there's a reinforce for the stability of the shoes. But on the top at here are a bit soft, so you can see I can just push the shoes down at the heel collar at here. These shoes are quite flexible and I able to just fold the shoes like this. Moving to the midsole area where the shoe shine for this Eagle form are soft and responsive. Even though the stack height is just 24 mm, it didn't sacrifice the comfort of the shoes. Because of the zero drop of the shoes, heel and the forefoot at the same level, it encouraged much more natural ride and landing on the forefoot. Let's talk about the outsole of the shoe. As you can see here, it has the foot pod design which means the outsole shapes like our natural foot so that means it have the flexibility and the movement like our foot so you can see the flexibility of the shoes are quite good and it's able to just fold the shoe like that and it can just bend nicely on the forefoot and it can twist it and here they're using the rubber around the forefoot that means it has a better traction and much more coverage for the durability what i like about the shoes first one is the comfortable of the shoes because of the amount of pads around the shoes and the secure fit around this area so i doesn't feel like any hot spot when i'm running today and the shoes doesn't feel like want to come out from my leg second is the toe box area as you can see the toe box are quite wide and it's a very comfortable especially if you are a wide foot runner for me it's a bit too much room for me as i'm not a wide foot runner so i have to tie the lace a bit harder when i'm running on my run otherwise my legs are swimming around the toe box but it's a plus sign 
if you are white foot runner, it's very comfortable and very roomy at this area. The third one is the stability of the shoes. Because of the low stack line of the shoes, the shoes are quite stable. Even though it's so flexible on the shoes, but the shoes able to provide the stability around the heel collar and the forefoot of the shoes. Even though there's some room over here, but I didn't feel like my feet are going to off the shoes. And number four is the grip of the shoes. Luckily, I able to test the shoes under the rain on my second run. I run on tarmac, concrete, and wet grass. And the shoes are not really slippery on the concrete. And you have a very good traction on the grass and the tarmac. Let's move to the dislike. The first one is the weight of the shoes. For my size, US 11, the shoe weight 310 grams are a bit too heavy for a small shoes like this. There's not much stack high, but it's a bit heavy. And I test it under the rain, the shoes become much more heavy when it soak under the water. Then it's like is the shoes has too much room at the toe box right here. My feet are swimming around at this toe box area. So I have to slow it down, stop it, and tighten the lace much more tighten so that my feet won't running around otherwise there's some blister will, will happen to my leg if you are a narrow foot runner these shoes might not suitable for you the one is the price of the shoes 659 ringgit for this pair of shoes are a bit pricey for that price point you can get a lot of other choice lighter and have some similar features with these shoes the fourth one actually is not dislike, it just needs some time for me to get usual with the shoes. Especially, I ran with all the shoes with some stack. So with this zero drop, it might take some time to get usual with it. Who are these shoes for? If you are looking for a white foot, comfortable ride, soft ride, and zero drop, yes, this is the shoes for you. And also, if you are a minimalist runner looking with some extra cushion, this also a shoes for you because it's just 24 millimeters. In terms of usage, definitely I will keep it as my daily trainer. Maybe some speed day tempo run using these shoes, but I need some time to break into shoes and get usual with the zero drop of the shoes. If you're looking for a comfortable, natural white toe box, stable, and zero drop shoes, definitely Ultra Escalade 3 is your choice go-to shoes. So that's all for the review. See you guys in 200 kilometers.